so the next thing we want to do is when we want to export this out we can essentially come to export export manager we scroll all the way down to the bottom and we say generate WP XML site builder file so there's our XML so I'm gonna right click on this and I'll say save link as this is right on my desktop keywords and I'll stick it in there and we're gonna call this our drone export I'm going to copy where I saved it. I'm going to save that there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to come back to the, uh, our web website. We're going to click on the video silo builder, silo importer, and we're going to set this to draft. We're going to set the shortcode to off. What this does is when we set this on, it's going to put a shortcode into the actual page and it's going to embed the actual silo navigation so that you can use it on and off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to browse to this file, I'm going to point to this file, grab it, open it, and I'm going to say add YouTube videos just to show you guys what happens. Under advanced settings, what I'm going to do here is my silos, I'm going to have everything set to my primary keyword, and my slug, actually I'm going to add that to the page title, sorry. And the primary keyword is going to be that slug over there. So I'm just adjusting this and I'm going to click import. When I click on import, it's going to go on and it's going to create all our pages, fetch the videos, embed them into these pages, and build out that silo architecture for us. So let's do this now. So I've clicked the, uh, the import button. The silos are being imported. If you give it a few minutes, it's going to run off, build those pages, it's going to collect all the videos, and it's going to map it all out. All of these videos will be in draft, so we'll see them underneath our pages once this is finished. I'm going to click on the pages page and go see what's going on. Okay guys, so what I've done now is I've just given it a few minutes, I've clicked refresh, and as you can see here, there's best drones, there's camera for kids, games, waterproofing, spy, all those things. Now the reason why I've done it this way is I just want to show you something quickly. If you're going to use the video silo plugin, so I publish these pages. Okay, so it's going to go up here, bulk actions edit. Depending on the keyword used over here, actual videos are just cameras so just be careful of this when you're actually utilizing the video silo plugin um, let's go to this one as an example okay so this games it's the wrong video wrong stuff okay so if you're going to use the video silo plugin make sure that the keyword that you're using if you optimize the URL Okay. See how these videos are different and they're wrong? Okay. So just be aware of this. When you're using the video silo plugin, make sure that the keywords are exact match for any videos that you want to put in. That's basically what I wanted to say to you. Okay. So I'm going to basically go and delete those quickly and then I'll re import them without the videos. Okay guys, so you saw I deleted those pictures, uh, those things there, I'm jump to my categories quickly, make sure that my categories are all cleared out, you'll see them there, so we're going to get rid of those, and remember to empty your trash before re-importing the XML silo, if you don't, what's going to happen is you'll probably get the number 2 next to the actual keyword, which will mess up your URL, which means you'll have to go and edit it again, and that's something that you don't want to be doing, so... Let's blow those ones away. And I will proceed to re import it now. So, what I'll do now is quickly recap. I discovered the segments I wanted to target. I came to Digital Marketers Toolbox. 
I mapped out the site structure in the website in the website architecture, comparative clusters, I jumped between the projects and uh, the themes, I built out the silos, I mapped out the categories, came to exports, export manager, and I exported the XML. The XML then gets imported into any video silo builder, silo importer, I'm going to set this to draft and I browse, get my export, I'm going to turn videos off, I'm going to turn on the titles, those are the titles I wanted, there's my slugs and I'll click import. Within a few minutes the pages will be there, so I'll click on pages and if you don't see your pages yet, give it a few minutes and it'll actually create those pages for you. Okay, so here we go. We've got our two silos up and we've got them all in draft mode. They're all prepped and ready. Um, long range drones, all the brands, they're all prepped and ready for us to work with. So I want to quickly check that we have everything here. I'll take it up to say 70 pages, apply this. And there's all our pages. So if we go edit, you can see now that this the page basically that's going to click with the Edit Elevator. And now we can start building our pages. Now, what you can do is essentially you can create templates, you can do what you want, and your site structure is basically all there. So the last thing I want to do is I want to come along and um, tweak out our navigation. So I'm going to publish all these pages before I do anything else here. It's going to exit. Just so we can look at the navigation, I can show you guys how we connect the, the top pages we want to the actual silo. So I'm going to come to appearances. I'm going to go to my menus. And I won't see anything in here unless they're published. Okay, so what we need to do is come to pages. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to publish everything. I'm going to publish the silo pages. I grab those two there and I'm going to publish those. update and I come to my appearance sorry yeah appearance menus and the keywords I want to add to my silo menu at the top will be the best drones So I'm just going to do that there, and I'm going to shift this up, and save that. I've got the pages. Okay, so now we've got best drones. You can see the pages we created, drone games, all those things we've done there, drones by hand, we've got the contact page, so all we've got to do now is come in and fill in the gaps and all the content, and most of the site's done properly for us, so we've got best drones, now as we go over this, you'll notice that when you look down here in the bar there, best drones forward slash bar, forward slash long range, there's a little type over there, so I'm going to click on this, I want to click edit, and 
and I'll basically want to come in here and just add in a E. Save that.